But first we're going to start out with foundation. I'm using Wet n Wild's Photo Matte uh, Foundation. And then I'm going to use some Fit Me by Maybelline in just a slightly different shade because they don't really sell my correct shade. Then we're going to take our beauty blender and make sure it's nice and blended in. We use the uh, Wet n Wild contour stick. I hate my nose so I make it look smaller by contouring. I'm going to go in with a lighter concealer. This one's an ivory. Hide some of those bags. A little bit on the jawline helps to blend when you're blending it all in. Then I'm going to go in with um, a Wet n Wild concealer in their soft beige, which is even lighter than the ivory. Every brand is different with their coloring, so you just got to kind of figure it out. Trial and error. And then you're going to take your beauty blender and you're going to blend this all smoothed out. going to use the Photo Focus from Wet n Wild Translucent Loose Powder to bake while we get ready to do the eyes. Just blot the powder under your eyes, on your chin, jawline. We're going to go in with red now and we're just going to pack it in. Just tons of red coming down onto the cheekbone. Once you're happy with it, you're going to go and put some more down onto the cheekbone, like where your blush would go. It's going to be relatively dark, a lot darker than normal blush. We'll go in with our black. It's also Wet n Wild. It's one of their new palettes. Taking our fluffy blending brush, with the matte black, and we're going to go into the corner and darken up that corner. Blending it as you go. Once you're happy with that, you're going to go with a lighter shade. Whatever color you want. I'm going to go with a sparkly light pink. And we're going to go in here to the inner corner of the eye. We're going to go in with our liner, liquid liner. This is an old one I got from Dollar General. We're going to draw our outer line, and then straight across into the inside of our eyelid, creating this really big triangle. You're going to fill it in.
once filled in you're going to go back and draw a small thin line across the bottom of the lash line now you'll do the other eye once you finish connecting this we're going to go ahead and before we do the other eye we're going to draw in our bottom point Go ahead and do an even smaller little third point here. Color it in as well. Once happy with that eye. You can finish the other eye exactly the same. Go in with some black on the eyebrow brush to fill in the eyebrow. Use whatever color fits your hair though. You don't always have to go black. If you have brown hair, you can use brown. I have a slit in my eyebrow already shaved, so I'm just going to make sure to color in where I have hair. I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the other side with the black this time, even though that eyebrow is red. Because of all the red already on my eyes, I don't want my eyebrow to get lost in the mix. Now we're going to brush off that translucent powder. going to grab some of our um, darker contouring color and start swooshing it in there at the bottom right on underneath your cheekbones just lightly then you're going to come in we're going to finish our eyes now we're going to do our snap scara from Maybelline just to get the white out of our eyelashes so you don't see it through your strip lashes. Now we're going to come in with Duo's eyelash glue and my eyelashes. We're going to just put the glue on the back of the eyelash, making sure the whole thing's covered but not gooped on to where it's like dripping off. Also, I like to put a little bit on my eyeliner line. Let it dry for a few seconds. Blow on it a little. You want it tacky. And then just line it up. Press it in. Make sure it's all secure. And ta-da! Now that both are done, we're going to come back in and add just a little bit more light blush, a little farther in on the cheeks. Now that I'm happy with it, I'm going to come in with my white eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, and put in some white freckles. We're going to come in with our black eyeliner and we're going to put two little dots and make a little frowny face, a little sad nose. And then pretty much done. We're going to take the hair down, put 
put it into the cute little style because it's a mess from being up in that bun. Got some pigtails going now, feeling cute, and we're done. This is after 12 hours of it on my face, right before I'm about to take it off. The only thing messed up is the nose. So 